Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech. And earlier, we created a fuselage. Now, friends, it's time to make it into an aircraft. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So if you missed the first lesson, I will have a link up above. It is a code blocks fuselage so that we all end up with the exact same measurements for this next part. The next part, of course, starts with 3D designs, and we are going to create a new design. When it launches, I want you to change the name to Jet Airliner, and I'm going to have you put your initials. I'm going to put MDH, and I've done this more than once, so I'm going to call mine MDH2. Once again, friends, this is going to be a multi-part lesson where we're going to learn the parts of an airplane, the forces of flight, and we're going to make a sweet aircraft. If you're missing any of the lessons, they will be up above in the cards. So the first step is to go down to Shapes Collection and find our sweet new jet airliner. Now this is the first time I launched it, so it took a second to get there. Now I can click it and bring it out. Once again, you need to be patient as you wait for it to arrive. Now what's nice about this is because we made it in code blocks, every single one of us is gonna have the exact same measurements. Now the first part you may wonder is why did I leave this empty? Well, I'm gonna show you that first. If we hit work plane and click on that flat edge, then return to your basic shapes and bring out a half sphere. This is one of my favorite tricks. I'm gonna set it near the front. I'm gonna change it to a gray color. I'm gonna stretch it all the way back. I'm gonna pull it out to the edges so it just about fills that edge and I'm gonna pull this black handle out to this edge. I'm gonna make sure it's inset just a little bit, which that's pretty good. And then friends, if we click on that and make it transparent, we have just got windows that are filled in on our sweet jet. Work plane back down to the ground and check out how cool that was. All right, friends, so we've got a fuselage and a windshield. I want you to take that windshield and I want you to lock it because we're going to move some other stuff, but I want that to always stay where it is. We're going to right now build what's called an airfoil or a wing. So under basic shapes, I want you to put a box on the far side of the work plane. I want you to click the work plane and put it on the side of that box. We're going to switch to featured shapes and find an amazing tool called an extrusion. With this extrusion, we're gonna create an airfoil by adjusting these handles. We have four airfoils to pick from. We could do low camber, high camber with a thicker wing section, a symmetrical camber, or a high camber with a thin wing section. Notice these two have the same shape, but this is cut out underneath. When you pick the shape of your camber, it gives you different characteristics. We get moderate lift, low drag, high lift, high drag, low lift, high drag, and high lift, high drag. And this results in different capacities. So low camber is high speed, high camber, low speed, symmetrical is low speed and good stability. And then finally, high camber is low speed. I'm gonna pick the low camber because I want my people to arrive faster and people are lighter than equipment so it doesn't need as much lift. So watch how this works. If I stretch this out and back, you can see I'm starting to make one of those airfoils. If I squeeze this in and make this end into a point, check it out, that is a low camber airfoil. I can adjust it and if I wanted, I could easily make the high camber I can make those pointed, I can twist them any way I want as I adjust these awesome airfoils. I'm gonna stretch this across and I want you to type the number 180 for how long it's gonna be. We'll align it later, just right now have fun with it. I'm also gonna tell you that I want this measurement instead of 33, make it 30, and then get your exact camber that you want for your aircraft. So I'm squeezing that down to make what I think is going to be a pretty wicked airfoil. When you're done, put the work plane back on the ground, delete the red one, grab the two shapes, and click align. 
Make sure that this is pink because we locked the windshield. So that way, even though we've got two shapes, this windshield cannot move. So when I click on the blue fuselage, boom, it now centered my wing. I'm also going to center it in the middle. And then I'm also going to look over here at the corner. Easy way would have been like that to find that dot and put it in the exact middle of my aircraft. Now I'm going to use control down to lower it. And then I'm going to nudge it to where I think the center of gravity might be. So I'm just picking a spot that I think looks good on my airplane. You can also adjust it if you want a couple of degrees to get that exact angle you were trying for. I like that. Now we need to cut out this material in the middle. Let's go back to basic shapes and bring out a sphere. I need you to take its measurements and make it 175. I need you to make it 49. And I need you to make it 40 high. We're going to change this into a hole. And we're going to select just these two pieces. So notice I've got the blue one and I've got the new hole. When we click a line, the blue one has to be the master. And we're going to do center. And I'll look at it from this corner and do center. And then from here, I'll do center. Notice it popped up above. I'm going to do control down to drop it inside the airplane. It was lining up with this tail fin. That's why it jumped up above. So now that I've got it aligned, I'm going to click the blue one and hit hide. That makes it real easy to see the wing. Hold down shift and click on that hole. And when I group those, we will have cut out those wing areas so we can then bring back our ship. And if we unlock and hide it, we will be able to see all the way through our sweet fuselage. All right, friends, let's bring out a whole box and make it 10 instead of 20 in that direction. Just to make sure we're tall enough, let's all put 30 here. Let's grab these two shapes and click a line make sure you click the wing and we want to go to the end of it and we want to go to the end of it i'm going to look at it from this corner so you can see what i'm saying i want it all the way to the end i'm going to click on the ground and then i'm just going to click that one piece switch to a five millimeter nudge go in one click do Control d and move in four clicks Hold shift and select both and group them. Take this shape and do control D. Use your arrow keys to move it all the way to the other side. To line it up, I'm going to click once and then I'm going to hold shift and click again. I'm going to click a line and I want the wing to be the master and it just needs to come to the end. Now let's hide our fuselage. Let's hide our little windshield. And let's grab that entire chunk of parts and group them. If we bring everything back, just like that, we have got areas to put our control services. Friends, this is so cool. Hit work plane and click on any one of them. And then go back to that featured shape and bring out another extrusion. Take that extrusion and squeeze it down nice and small. It's going to be a, the symmetrical surface again, except this one's just a lot smaller. When you get that nice symmetrical shape, you can use Fit View to zoom in on it and then nudge it with the arrow keys till it's in the exact right spot. I'm going to switch to a one millimeter nudge. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge that out to the edge. And then I'm going to shrink it down so it fits. I'm going to just use these little characteristics to get it in there so it looks perfect for that area. Notice it already fit the 20. I'm going to make it a cool color so it's easier to see. We're going to switch back to that 5 millimeter nudge. Now that we've got that one built, let's put the work plane back on the ground and do Control D and use the arrow keys to nudge the other one to the other side. We have just created flaps and ailerons. 
I'm gonna make the ailerons a totally new color and then we just need to put them on the other side as well I am going to shift click and I'm gonna do control D and then I'm just gonna use the arrow keys to nudge them all the way across because we're moving by fives they line up perfectly the only problem is the pink one's got to be on the outside so if we hit flip and flip boom our control services have been added friends the next control surface we are going to add is called an elevator once again bring out your cube and once again we are going to change this number to 10. when we line it up with the back of the vehicle i'm going to click the vehicle and the back you can see that we need to make it taller so that it cuts all the way through so we're going to do 30. once again we're going to do Control d move one to the other side and then if we shift select those two we can group them and then we can shift select the fuselage and when we click a line pick the fuselage and center them I have also got it aligned with this back edge so now that is pretty nifty and we can simply grab that and group it real quickly let's put the work plane on that little location return to that sweet featured shape the extrusion click that spot and once again turn it into that amazing little elevator this is what helps your plane go up and down zoom in so that you've got a good look at it shrink it so that it fits the right size get the thinness right I'm gonna change my nudge to one millimeter and once I get the location right then it's real easy to nudge it in and get it so it fits pretty darn nifty when you've got the first one done perfect we want to put the second one over here check out this trick put your work plane right there do control D to duplicate and then press the letter D and it drops straight to that new location I'm gonna pick another awesome color for these my elevators are gonna be a green just so that everything's got a different color and it makes it easier to remember all the cool things I learned put the work plane back down to the ground and it's time to make a rudder before I do though it looks like I nudged my windshield back I'm gonna to switch to that five millimeter nudge again and just nudge it forward it looks like two clicks to get it back where it's supposed to be that looks good enough for now and let me show you the rudder steps once again go back to basic shapes and bring out a whole box we want to change this again to 10 I'm gonna tell you that we want to make this 15 we're gonna hold down shift and click on the yellow piece and do a line and click the yellow piece and we want it to be middle and then you're probably gonna have to zoom out to see this we also want it to be top when we bring this out you can see that it's still too tall I'm gonna make it 15 and when I bring that in that's gonna be a nice place to put a rudder I'm gonna draw a box that touches those two and I'm going to group it And then we're gonna make a rudder that sits right in here once again work plane on that spot switch to the featured shapes bring out your extrusion I'm gonna put it right there on the edge you can see I left a gap this time and then I want the point to be back in the end here so I'm gonna make it skinny and have that point it looks like it's doing the opposite of what I'm expecting so I'm gonna instead shrink it to this one so notice how this is backwards I'm gonna solve this by just doing work plane and I'm gonna flip it boom so now the points where I expect it to be and I can just shrink it down and squeeze it in just like that notice it's not quite fitting the way I want I'm gonna switch back to the 
size one grid, and I'm gonna just pull it up one click at a time until it's perfect. And then use the black handles to shrink it in on both sides. The black handles are nice because they move in one direction at a time. Let's align it one tit last time by doing shift click, hitting align, making the blue and the master, and choosing middle. And there you have it, friends, a jet with all its control services, ailerons, flaps, elevators, and a rudder. I'm going to quickly switch this to a fun color. Instead of gray, I'm going to make it purple. It'll be the first part that I have that is purple. Remember to make sure that all your colors are different than in mine before you turn in a screenshot. Alrighty friends, so remember we had two fun jobs. First was to learn the parts of our airliner. We had a fuselage, we had a wing, which is also called an airfoil. We added ailerons that are on the outside. These are what help the plane bank. We added flaps, which are the yellow ones. They are what help a plane slow down. In the back, we've got a horizontal stabilizer and we've got a rudder. On the horizontal stabilizer, we have elevators. These are what control the pitch as it noses up or towards the ground. And then lastly, we have a vertical stabilizer, which has a rudder. And the rudder is what controls yaw. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this and you've got all those parts memorized. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.